All right, let's sharpen our tactics and place some random chess puzzles here on Lee Chess. All right, so I'm up some material, a knight and a pawn. See if we can mate this king. Some protectors here. So there's a queen to a8 check. King won't be able to move, so the queen will have to block. And no matter where it blocks, here, here, or here, it's going to get taken with mate. Okay, notice the rook has that square covered. So it looks like a mate in two. So check, and then mate. All right, just 1147 on the rating there. By the way, this uh, puzzle comes from an actual game on Lee Chess. I find that fascinating. All of these puzzles come from our games. So there's probably some AI that's just uh, combing through the games and harvesting all these tactical puzzles. Let's try another one. All right, this looks complicated. Um, material imbalance here looks like white is down a piece but has uh, four pawns for it okay both kings are under attack here there's a mate threat on g2 so we have to be very forceful we need checks um, there's a loose knight with check here there's a check over here there's a check down there but that's guarded by the knight So let's analyze uh, queen takes c6 check. So where are the safe squares? Where are the square, legal squares to go to? There's e5 and f7. So if we take the knight and it goes to e5, then queen to d5 check is mate. The bishop has that square covered. So after taking the knight, the only other possibility is moving here to f7. But then queen to f6 is mate because the rook has the entire back rank covered. So it's a mate in two. Either way, the king moves. Let's try it out. So check and then mate. Okay, 1456. Let's try another one. All right, uh, even material looks like. Hmm. Kings are not in so much danger this time. So let's look for loose pieces. Um, bishop is unprotected, it's loose. Queen is short on squares. It, when, you, when you see something like that, you wonder if you can trap the queen. Are there any safe ways to attack it. And there is rook to h3 here attacking the queen. And the queen cannot go anywhere. All the squares are covered. Since the material is equal, we can, we can win the queen here for a rook. Let's go for that. And take the queen. Okay, let's try another one. All right, so uh, black is down a few pawns here. Do have a nice battery on the F file. So we can analyze uh, rook takes F2 check, queen takes rook, rook takes queen, king takes rook. So giving up two rooks for a queen and a pawn. So is, is there a follow-up to that? So you have to imagine the king ending up here on F2 and the queen and two rooks are gone off the board. There is a loose rook on e7, and the king is on f2. And there's a fork. There's queen to f6, forking those. So we'll win a rook in the end. So we end up winning a queen, rook, and pawn for two rooks. That sounds like a good deal. Um, white still has a few extra pawns. 
as compensation, but we have two pieces, a queen and a bishop. We should be able to mop up pretty easily. Okay, let's let's go for that. So check, check, and then the fork. Okay, let me take the rook. Okay, so yeah, that's a winning position. Okay, let's try another one. Okay, bishop just got attacked. So the imbalance here is um, black has a queen for two rooks and two pawns. So white is up a little bit of material here. So what can we do about that? Well, we look for forcing moves, captures, and checks. So queen takes h3 check, forces the king to g1. And since the knight is guarded by the bishop, queen to h1 is mate. So it's a mate in two. So we play it. Check. And mate. Okay, let's see if we get a harder one. Okay, these rooks are opposed on the G file. Material is about equal. Um, that rook is guarded twice. So we do have to analyze taking it. And then the queen takes back. And we don't continue to trade. What we'll do is move the other rook over to g1, pinning the queen to the king, and the queen will not be able to take our queen. And we're going to win the queen for the rook, so we're going to go up material. So let's do that. Check. And then pin the queen, and we win the queen for the rook. Okay, we'll try another one. That wasn't so hard. Okay, there's a loose bishop over here. Our bishop is facing it. So we can move this pawn. We can push it forward and attack the knight. But that doesn't seem too forcing because bishop takes bishop. And then we have our choice. Well, we can't even recapture the bishop because the pawn is pinned. So we'd have to take the knight back. So more forcing is e takes f4 attacking the queen. The queen has to get out of the attack by like taking the pawn or moving back or something. And then we take the bishop. And there's no way for the queen to guard the bishop. There doesn't seem to be a counter attack. So we'll win the bishop. Okay. There we go. Not hard at all. Let's try another one. Okay, so we're down a bishop in this position. So we need something to attack this king. Doesn't have a pawn cover here. So what about rook to d7, making a battery along the seventh rank? So what's the defense? Rook to d7. Black has to defend the g7 point. There's no safe checks on our king. There's rook takes g2, king takes g2. There's no follow-up to that. So what's the defense? Rook to d7. We can't block like this. We'll just take the rook, followed by mating on g7 anyway. I don't see any way to defend g7. Black's going to have to take our rook with his queen and give up the queen for the rook. There's no way out of that. Let's play it. Okay, and that's it. All right, 1632. The rating's getting a little higher. Let's go for another one. Okay. So right in line here. But there is this fork. Too easy. All right, we're only down a piece. So if we fork here, we're going to get the queen. So let's go for that. And that queen is uh, guarded by the bishop, so we don't want to take with our queen. We want to take with the knight. 
Okay, we'll try just one more. Bishop is under attack. Looks like we're three moves into the opening. Strange opening. This came from a real game with players rated in the 1900s and white played e4, d4, bishop to c4. Meanwhile, black played a6, b5, and h6. Okay, black deserves to be punished here for that terrible opening. So what do we do? Well, we look at that f7 square. That's weak. Okay, this diagonal is weak as well. So what if we take? So bishop takes f7. It's more forcing than attacking f7 again, like putting the queen here or here. It's just going to allow some kind of blocking move like e6. So it's more forcing to consider bishop takes f7 check, king takes back. Can we get at that rook in the corner? Like queen to h5 check. If he blocks with g6, then we have queen to d5, forking the king and the rook. So we get the pawn and the rook for the bishop. And I don't think our queen's getting trapped. It has the a7 square. So bishop takes f7 check, king takes f7, queen to h5. g6 is probably forced. If the king comes forward, it could get mated. Like if it came to f6, queen to f5 is mate. If it came to e6, queen to e5 is mate. So that's it. We're going to get the rook in the corner. Let's try it. Check. Check. Fork. Rook. All right. Black deserved that one. Okay. Thanks for watching the tactics.